Here, I'm going to show you how to quickly adjust multiple shapes at once in a worksheet. And this is most often used when you want to prevent shapes from resizing when you change the size of columns or rows. So now we have really messed up our button up here and the chart as well. But it's not just for buttons and charts. It's also for the icon that I put inside the button. I have a tutorial that shows you how to make that, by the way. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. And it's also for the icon that I have over here and the slicer that I have over here, and pretty much every other thing that overlays cells in the worksheet. So hit Control Z, or I'm going to hit Control Z to back that up. And what you want to do when you're designing your worksheet is get all of this set up exactly how you want it before you start resizing the columns and the rows. Then go to Page Layout, and then go to Selection Pane. I want you to memorize that. Page Layout Selection Pane. It is one of the simplest things to save you hours of time adjusting your worksheet. Here we have the chart. We have the slicer MFR right here. And then we have the button with the grouped icon and the little rounded rectangle as well. And the little database icon up here. So all of the things overlay the worksheet. And what you want to do is to click one, hit control A to select all of them. Then just hover over one of them right click and you can go to format object if you want here we're going to go to size and properties and we're going to be able to change a lot of the options here that are shared between these objects and what we care about here is properties and to keep these guys static select don't move or size with cells then close and let's close this as well and now they will not move. Now the pivot table moves, of course, but all of these things do not move. And now our layout will not be messed up by anything else. And pivot tables are a good example of something that's going to mess up your layout. Because when you change the filtering and how these are displayed, they will by default resize the columns in which they are located. But the most important thing to remember, page layout selection pane very easily select everything delete it change the visibility of it it's going to make your life much easier to access these guys through the selection pane than trying to click them individually and then right click size and properties and change them one by one that's all for this tip make sure to like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to receive notifications for all my new tutorials